What's up all you junkies? This is gonna be a special edition of the Bush Gardens Junkies. Uh, today we're actually doing a lot of live, so um, it's gonna be a short video. So just check out the live stream. I know it's uh, probably already passed by now, but you can check it out. Turn It Up is back as a remix. It's the hottest show on ice. We do have some shows today, but uh, I don't know if we'll check it out today. We might, who knows. But uh, yeah, we do have some new news. A new show came here at the Moroccan Palace. Turn It Up Remix. Okay, this one's for you, so get ready. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as we are departing, yep, we're we'll riding the train. The air and wave it to the platform side and say goodbye to our station masters. We got Gene, we got Jackie, and we got Zay. We are departing the Nairobi train station. We are also seated. To our left, we have. If you look over to your right side, you will be able to catch a quick glimpse of our African penguins. Oh, well, like I was going to say Thompson Gazelle's over there. And yes, on our right-hand side is the African penguins. Also, if you look around, you can see a green and yellow coaster. That coaster is Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah Hunt will take you from 0 to 60 within seconds. And it's the longest coaster here at Bush Gardens with track length of 4,429 feet. Be able to see some 
some eland antelope. Those antelope are the largest of the antelope species and they can run up to 25 miles per hour. Sadly, they are also the slowest of the antelope species. <laughs> You're also gonna see some impalas and no, unfortunately, they are not super natural. But impalas can run up to 35 to 40 miles per hour and they're just chilling with the eland on our hill. In the distance, you're also going to be able to see some palm trees. <laughs> also, some particularly a giraffe. Particularly a giraffe cut vertebrae, just like us. And there's seven of them, but they are just longer and taller. Also, those little horns on top of their head are made of cartilage, just like our ears. They can see in full color, and they have 360 degree vision, like an owl. the zebra and antelope plane and the white rhinos all right guys coming up on the left hand side as we're getting ready to catch them are the water bucks unlike their name the water bucks are not fond of water but they will run into a body of water if necessary when being chased by a predator and the cool thing about the water bucks is that their noses are heart shaped We also have some more grant zebras over here. Another cool thing about the grand zebras is that just like the giraffe's markings and our fingerprints, no stripe, no two stripes are the same. You also have some wildebeest back there on the left side. Wildebeest, one cool thing about them is that they are, after about six to seven minutes after being born, they have, they have to be able to keep up with the herd. Oh, so zebras are. Also, before we head into the tunnel over here behind the fence, you're going to be able to see some greater kudu. Greater kudu are some very good listening animals, but also some very shy animals as well. One cool thing about the greater kudu is that they bark like dogs. 
turnaround station for the sky ride. And they're still sitting there. They were back, back there. Hey, right there. Oh, there's no cars here to wave. There we have Kum uh yeah, Kumba. Over here on the right hand side, you have Kumba. Kumba, which means war in the African dialect. It's taking up to 143 feet in the yeah, air. The Congo and it's taking about 60 miles per but hour. It is currently closed. Also with Kumba, our tracks are hollow, which makes the war sound that you can hear from the other side of the park. Yeah.
one of my favorite places to check out here at Bush Gardens. What else we do? Pull up to the San Diego Station. You are close to Sea Secret and Tigris, and also Congo. And you are able to ride the rapids and Kumba. Unfortunately, the bridge is closed from San Diego to the Bird Gardens, so I suggest that you stay on for the ride to get back to Nairobi, or you can go ahead and walk all the way back to the front. Completely up to you. Once again, as we pull into the station, I do ask that you remain seated the entire time until we come to a full and complete stop. No, it's yeah, Guazi, the original Guazi was very. Uh -huh. No, I'm like this. No. It was so but it was a bot. I know. It was bought from another place. Yeah. They bought it from another piece of art. No, not the honor. The original one. Yeah. yeah. We are here at Stanleyville Train, uh, yeah, Stanleyville Train Station. Uh, right here, right by Shikra and the Smokehouse. The work walls are up. And from here to Lori's Landing, that whole area is down for refurbishment. So guys, yep, yeah, you have to do what we just did. If you want to come from Nairobi to here, you can usually take the train or you can walk. Now, if you walk, you have to go through Nairobi, Pantopia, Jangala, and then Stanleyville. But if you take the train, you just go through the Serengeti Veldt, get to see Viazi, possibly. Better move before we get wet. Here it comes. So with the uh, pathway between this smokehouse and Lori's Landing being closed, you have to come through Jangala, but it looks like they opened up this shortcut to allow for a little bit more traffic to come through. And uh, yeah, right here between Jangala and Pantopia, we have this shortcut. The crowds are big today. Yeah. We're gonna breeze right through Pantopia here. Tell the tide to walk. Yeah. A lot of people here. Yep, there's a lot of people here. And uh, off in the distance, yep, no longer a phoenix. We'll just go that way. It looks a little too crowded the other way. And then you got the sand serpent here. Got the sand serpent here. But and yeah. The carousel. And the carousel, but yeah, no more boat. Yep, it's that way. The boat's been uh, non-operational for years anyway. Yep. And the other ride is Falcon's Fury. Which is still out of commission. Ever since it got hit by lightning. Yeah, well, 430 feet up, or 300, uh, three, three, four, three. I don't know. Yeah, it was 330 feet up. A lightning is definitely gonna hit that. <laughs> so. Yeah, we are breezing through here. The Dragonfire Grill, great place to eat. Yep. They have Good Asian. Uh, yeah, they got Asian food. Um, they have uh, hamburgers, pizza, and chicken. So you got your choice of foods there. And uh, this is the spot where we normally come up to the stinky elephants, as Maggie says. But they are. 
Yeah. Well, we'll see today when we go buy them. Yeah, I don't think we got the... the we're uh, going uh, actually... We're upwind from them, so I don't think we'll smell them. Animal Care Center, right on the other side of the elephants. That's where they actually do some work on the animals. And, uh, Don't look like any of them are out. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... It wasn't reading my, like, face to try to... We're gonna go over this way. Nope, we're all back in the back. Along with the elephants, we have the flyer, the Serengeti flyer. Now there is uh, actually somebody took some footage of them testing it. That one on the far side, I think, was going back and forth. We have at least another couple of months before we can get to ride it. Uh, I believe it's going to be sometime in March. So if you are a follower of this channel, you should realize that you need to get your passport to Thrills for December, January and February. And then they're going to have a special event when they open it. showed you behind the work walls over here there's not much that looks like has changed since then uh, we probably won't have to show you the work walls again even back here it's still a little crowded If you're wondering, and we do look at uh, a website called Q Times, and it uh, gives you a a good estimate on the crowd levels. It's not entirely accurate, but um, uh, especially like today, it's definitely not accurate for today. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they were thinking about when they said 30% crowd levels, but. They this, were way off. This is not 30%. I, I would say we're closer to 70, 80% crowd levels. So, um, yeah, whenever there's a Saturday or Sunday, it's you're more than likely going to have a lot of crowds. Yeah. Over there, we got Bubba and Jimmy. Oh, they're yep, they're back there. They probably had their full of visitors for the day, so they're hiding out back. Huge. They're huge. Train station looks like it's packed. Yeah, there's a big line for the train. <laughs> now we did take the train from Nairobi here all the way to Stanleyville. 
just so we can get on Chikra for y'all. But this time we decided to go this way on back. Wonderful ambassadors are always so friendly. Oh my, look at this crowd. And we're gonna pass the tuxedo birds. They're not swimming. These are African tuxedo birds or like African that, penguins. What does that mean? They're not from the cold climate. They're not from the Arctic. They like, they're, they're African penguins and they like the warm weather and the warm water. Yep. Yet that water is probably about 60 degrees, so it's kind of on the cool side. Yeah, the screams of Cheetah Hunt. That roller coaster takes you from zero to cheetah in three seconds. Maybe four. Yeah, we didn't do too much up that way because uh, one, Cobra's Curse has been, uh, well, they said Cobra's Curse was closed today and uh, Montu and Cheetah Hunt both had at least an hour or more wait, so. Um, yeah, not a not a good time to go up in that direction. But yeah, you get to see the cheetahs. Yeah, you go up that way. You get to ride cheetah hunt. Um, uh, right now, we're gonna go and see if we can't get ourselves uh, our beignets. hands uh, our hands on some beignets. Yeah. We got our benets and now we're listening to them. Go. Nick. Charles. Peter. Nolan. Dave. Christian. Doug. And most important to the plot that I got everyone's name wrong. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Ever. All right, next we're doing. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah. All right, um, if you've ever been to um, New Orleans before... You I know, know you're there. behind no, us, Gail. The main I saw you behind us. Let me just sing a whole song. <laughs> Guys, I barely remember the trip I had, okay? It was, it was a long time. Um, but, uh, yeah, down there, I think they have all the, all the bands. Um, and uh, I think I heard this song, actually, when I went there. I think I did. I think this one. So, that's a little anecdote for you. Ready? She's, I don't know how old she is, but uh, in our last video, we showed you, and uh, yeah, she's like 70, 80, I don't know, somewhere up there, but she loves the roller coasters. She just loves them to death. Um, so, and uh, that's it. We got our benets. We got to listen to the Sweet Benet Band, and I think that'll be it for us today. So, yeah, yeah, 
First Garden Junkies saying, see ya! <laughs>